Oh guys, what it is morning time? SP88. And listen, this is the last time I'm wearing this top because for some reason I feel like this top is going to be a classic one day. The guy who designed it is dead in it. And I think on their website you can only get caps now. So I feel like this is going to be something special one day. So I've got a little bit of staining on there. Need to stop. I, love, I really do love this jumper. Anyway, got this Jaguar. What is it? XF. XF, right? And there's a problem with this window. It's stuck down. That plastic bag was there to keep the window up. And we turn LBC off. It sounds like LBC. Bear talking. Yeah. Hope you guys can hear this. Right, so I'm gonna take this door card off now and see what's actually going wrong. Probably be a window regulator or the window's falling out of the runners. Let's see. So I don't know how to take this door card off, but I'm gonna start with the basics. I might have to get a YouTube video out. This is the first screw there. And I can't see any screws. Uh, nope. Nope. Yeah. There's gotta be something here holding this handle you can see there's a thing that's open up there same on that side as well we'll take them three out and see what happens this is how you open up this thing here we it's like a T25 maybe, I've got a T20 in my hand, I'll see if it works. Alright, cut three screws out. Now I'm going to just get my um, plastic panel spreaders or whatever you call them. Alright, so I started from here. Boom. Start levering. Go on in here. Coming up easy. Hate to say the word easy when fixing car stuff. Can't lie. Two hands. I'm gonna get this off. Just gotta watch out for the connection there and the cable. Yeah, connects to the handle there. And obviously there's a speaker there. So the clips pulls away this way. your cable for your door this little piece here it came out of there and there's one more screw in there don't break that boy so the door card is off these are the connections that are disconnected now this is one of them funky full skin doors right so we need to find the motor so behind one of these blanking caps will be the window um, regulator fixing clips. Maybe this one and this one. Anyway, let me get something done and I'll let you know what's going on. Right, so I'll just pull the window up a little bit. And this is what I can see. So obviously I'll take this out, just a few screws. Now I can see clearly that we've got a broken window regulator. Yeah, window regulator is done out here. So what we're gonna do for now is take this window up. I'm gonna secure this window so it's in place and order it for some parts now. Look at the window regulator. You've got the motor here. One screw there. I think that's where you're gonna attach the regulator to the to the to the to, to the window through these two and one screw there one screw there one screw there might be one in there and one in there shouldn't be too bad to do to be honest well not much what I could do now um Jaguar in Causton because where I might now is Shirley I don't know if you've ever seen this area before this is Shirley Probably can't tell. Anyhow, Jaguar was saying that 
they can get it for tomorrow possibly because the parts on back order but there's one shown in the company so they want to try and buy it from the dealer that has it and then they'll give me a shot when they've got it so i'll put the store car back together so she can drive the car um how am i going to stick this window up now um i just want to make sure i can jam the runners up so i'm going to stick like some some um, cardboard in there just to make it a bit tight for now so it don't slide out too easily so i stuck these bits of cardboard in there basically i had the window down slid the cardboard in and pulled the window up against the cardboard so that's like pretty good now you know it's not going anywhere until i get this part call the land, land rover dealer say the parts on back order but there's one in the company so they're going to try and get it in for me for tomorrow fingers crossed to get it and then we're winning the customers already giving me the job so happy days just got to get the part now guys i'm back on this jaguar to change the um window regulator so i'm carefully removing these stickers by heating up the glue well the battery's dead on that now got another battery on charge in the van I can just pick this up without it ripping more than likely. Like that. Got one more to go, but I need a new battery. Alright, so all the stickers are up now. Oh, one more there to go. And then there's this screw, that screw, then some screws in there. Screws in there. To get the window regulator out i'm not too sure if that one is to come out yet i'll take that out if i have to what's in this one can't see anything in there might be to do with removing the door handle all right so i ain't got this position properly to get this out but you see this white thing here it's got a little notch coming through the glass that's what's holding the glass at the regulator so i've got to use my pick to push that out picture fell down there somewhere the runner there she is <laughs> just to unhook that glass and then because i've got these four screws out should be able to pull the regulator out all right then i'll push the glass back up to the top you'll see so we've got, got the glass disconnected and it's got this last screw and that's for the window motor the glass is pushed back up to the top let's get you guys at school inside of the door that's the lock and the handle mechanism There's the glass. Alright, when the regulator is about to come out, this screw. That's all the screws. The, screw, the tools that I've had to use so far is a pick. Trim to remove our T30 and a T20. That's it so far. So the old regulator is out now and the floor all broken and that. And that's a new part from Jaguar. So that's the part number there. So that's the new part there. It's got to bend it in to that gap there, screw it up and then drop the glass back into it. Really simple job really. Right, it's coming with a couple of new screws at the top there. I take these out before they get in my way. Oh no, they just like slot into place, so you don't even have to take them all the way out. That's probably why this one was so hard to take out. They just push up and out. Okay, good to know. Now you know. So I got that one in. Even though the glass is in the way, you got to take your time because the glass kind of is in the way on this side. And that one slotted in. I just tighten it up a little bit to make it sturdy. I'll try and make sure that's lined up with the exact mark of the old screw. So the adjustment should be in. Sometimes with these you have to do a little bit of adjustment, but this one doesn't really have much adjustment in it. So if I just put it back, put the screws back exactly how they came out, it should be alright. Guys, I can't lie, I haven't tested it yet. It's all back together. I've got to put these screws back and I want to plug all the things in before I turn the ignition on. I don't want to generate any force, so I'm going to put these screws in, put it back on and fingers crossed it's going to work beautifully. 
it was a bit fiddly to latch the windows back into the notches sorry I didn't show that but you have to like open it up this is this is the piece here and you really need to get your pick to push this push this open like that so that the glass can drop in it's not gonna want to drop in just like that it's a bit tough I thought I might be able to just push it and it'll clip in but I really needed to get in there and open it up all right all right so setting it up make sure it does the auto function not working yeah then you got to pull it all the way up all the way up teach it the opposition by pushing up a couple of times and push it down keep your finger on it all the way down and teach you the down position so that's it all right so one I'm trying to put the door card back on get out of here